Hello, I'm Wayland, and today I will be showing you how to use a program called LogMeIn. It is used for remote controlling of computers across the internet. First thing we need to do is open up Firefox. We will open a new tab. The web address is www.logmein.com. It's L O G M E I N. In this case, I am already logged in. Uh, in order to use this program, you do have to go to their website and create a free login account. They do. They offer a free account, as well as various paid accounts, as you can see from this drop-down menu right here. Today, I'm, I will be showing you the free account. Once you have logged in, you can click on My Computers. This will take you to a listing of all the computers that you have added to your account that you want to be able to, to remotely control. In this case, you can see I have a listing for a business called Consider It Closed. There's two computers listed there. GTS is my business. I have four computers. These are various customers that I do computer work for. And this is another company that I work for. You can see all their computers listed right there. The ones that are blue mean that they're currently turned on and connected to the internet. If they are grayed out, then they're either they are not connected to the internet or they are just simply turned off. To add a computer, you go to you have to have physical access to the computer you want to control. You go to that computer, log on, navigate to the log me in website. Once you're logged in, right over here they give you this nice little shortcut. Click on Add Computer, and you choose the version of LogMeIn that you want to install on that computer. In this case, it's going to be the free version. Now, I, already, I actually already have LogMeIn on this computer, so I'm not going to show you the whole process for this. You click Continue. When it takes you to this page, it'll automatically pop up with the start downloading the software if it doesn't they do have a link so you can click so it'll start now at this point this is the actual setup for the for the installation of LogMeIn so that you're able to control whichever computer you choose I am not going to finish installing this because, like I said before, I already have this installed. But they are simple instructions. You just, they tell you exactly what you need to do. It's real quick, real simple. I'm going to cancel that. And now the website thinks it didn't work because I canceled it. But when in fact I already have it installed. So we will go back to the listing of my computers. And for this tutorial, I will be using the GTS Gateway. That is just a second computer that I have. Once you click on the link, again it's blue, showing you that it is turned on and it is able to be controlled right now. We click on that link. In this case, Firefox needs to install the software so that I can actually connect to it. This is usually a one-time install unless they've released an update of some kind. But we will click install. Now when I come up with this box, this is the actual login information for the computer that you are trying to control. So this would be the remote computer, not the one that you are currently on. Type in your username and the password. Click login. Brings you up to a little control panel. Now this control panel will 
vary in appearance depending on which version of LogMeIn you're using. This is again, this is just the free version. And here you have different options. You can click on preferences, and you can change various preferences for your actual connection. The home. They have a help section in case you get lost or get confused on anything. But for this, we're just going to click on remote control. This will take us to another window, telling you that you're about to control this computer. Click on OK. And you do have the check mark down here, so if you don't want to see these little pop-ups anymore, you can tell, remember, don't remember this and don't prompt again for this computer. So I usually click those. OK. Shows you the connection status. On the remote computer, as you can see up here in the corner, it gives them a pop-up telling you that you are controlling their computer now. It has different information. So this computer is being remotely controlled by... And it actually shows whichever account you log on to that computer with. And then right here, it shows the information for where you're coming. This is actually information about roadrunner.com which is the internet provider that I am currently using and then from this you can do whatever you need to do you everything you do is actually being done on the remote computer it's just showing you the video so you can see what's going on you can see I have a document on the desktop you can open that up do whatever you need to do with it if you need to make changes if you need to save a new file, create new files. It's just like you're sitting at that computer that is could be anywhere in the world. You have different options up here on the toolbar. You can click on options. You can choose to show it in full screen to take up your full monitor. Uh, if you don't want it full screen, what, which resolution you would like to see it in. You can click the drop down menu. There's different resolutions. There's a view tab. You can scale to fit your screen. The actual size which will make your actual video portion of what you're looking at the actual size of whatever it is on the remote computer. You can zoom in, zoom out. You have a custom zoom. Here, excuse me, here you can change your settings as far as if you want better appearance over better speed. You can just click on the one you want. The, I usually leave automatically adjust color settings based on that actually based it on your internet connection. And grayscale when inactive just means if you click on it on a different window that's not the window that you're actually shows you controlling the other computer. You can see up here in the top where the log mean is it just grayed it out so it doesn't stand out anymore. But as soon as you click back on it it brings all the color back. Control Alt Delete. When you're controlling an alt, uh, another computer, if you hit the Alt Control Alt Delete buttons, it's going to send the, it's going to do the functionality for your local computer. So if you need to send the Control Alt Delete for a remote con a remote computer, you would need to click on this and it would send it. Here's a magnify. So you can just, it's just like the built-in Windows magnifier whatever you put it over it gets magnified so it's easier to read in case you're looking at a screen that has a small resolution turn that back off a laser pointer whenever you control the computer whoever is sitting up in front of the computer on the other end can see what you're doing so you can if you're trying to point stuff out to them you can click the laser pointer it just kind of helps them see what you're pointing at because while you are controlling the computer they don't actually see your mouse moving so by like using a laser pointer it'll help you point at different stuff to help them for whatever reason you're having to help them turn that back off whiteboard just lets you use the desktop you can do whatever you need to do if you're trying to make stuff point out you can circle it you can draw letters and pictures whatever you need to do
chat is just like what it says. You click on that. It'll bring a little chat bar up here right at the top of your window. And you can... Start typing. When you do that, it pops up this window on their screen, which you can see because you can see their screen. And this allows them to talk back to you. And this doesn't pop up a new window on your screen because since you can see what they're typing here, you already have, you can already see it, so there's no point to pop up a new window. And you can either type back from here or you can type back from the top of the screen, whichever one you feel you need to do. We'll close that. Close that. Now over here, you have some more options. The blank screen, if you turn that on, will actually turn the monitor off of the remote the remote computer that you're controlling. So that way, if say if it's a computer at work or you just don't want anybody to be able to see what you're doing, you would put a check mark here and it shuts that monitor off. Sync clipboard. Uh, this way, if you're working on a remote computer, if you copy something to the clipboard, you can actually paste it on your local computer and vice versa. Lock keyboard will actually lock the mouse and keyboard of the remote computer so that if anybody is sitting there, they can't uh, do anything while you're remoted into the computer. That's just a brief overview of everything that LogMeIn is capable of. Like I said, there are paid versions you can use. I don't, I've only used one of those, so I'm not too familiar with most of those. I usually use the free version for most of everything. But this concludes my tutorial, and thank you for visiting.